throughout human history, the sun has captivated our imagination. From ancient civilizations, worshipping it as a deity to our modern efforts to harness its energy, the sun has always held a special place in our hearts. We've come a long way from using fire for warmth and cooking to convert sunlight directly into electricity through solar panels. One of the most ambitious projects to harness the energy of the sun is the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, called ITE. The International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, short ITE in Cadarake, France, stands as a beacon of scientific ambition and global cooperation. Its mission to unlock the immense potential of nuclear fusion, the process that powers the sun and stars, as a revolutionary and sustainable energy source for humanity. In this video, we will explore it as historical background, the scientific principles at its core, its unique features, and the profound impact it promises to have on our world. The dream of harnessing nuclear fusion for practical energy production has been a persistent one since the mid-20th century. Fusion reactions, which involve the merging of light atomic nuclei, offer the promise of clean, virtually limitless energy. The key to this energy source lies in the fusion of hydrogen isotopes, deuterium and tritium. The journey towards controlled nuclear fusion began with the establishment of the Joint European Taurus in the UK in 1983. The Joint European Taurus marked a pivotal moment in demonstrating the feasibility of controlled nuclear fusion and provided valuable insights into plasma confinement and heating techniques. This success paved the way for the monumental ITER project. At the heart of ITER's scientific endeavour is the creation and confinement of a superheated plasma where atomic nuclei collide and fuse, releasing immense energy. Achieving this involves overcoming a multitude of scientific and engineering challenges. Magnetic confinement is the chosen approach for ITER, utilising a device known as a tokamak. Tokamaks employ powerful magnetic fields to trap and stabilise the scorching plasma, which reaches temperatures exceeding 150 million degrees Celsius. This magnetic confinement is essential to prevent the plasma from contacting the reactor walls, which would instantly extinguish the fusion reaction. The process begins with the heating of deuterium and tritium isotopes to extreme temperatures, accomplished through a combination of radio frequency and neutral beam heating. This heating process provides the necessary energy to initiate and sustain the fusion reactions. When deuterium and tritium fuse, they produce helium and high energy neutrons, releasing a substantial amount of energy. Importantly, this fusion process is environmentally friendly as it doesn't generate greenhouse gases or long-lived nuclear waste. Tire's unique features are evident on multiple fronts. Firstly, it is a testament to international collaboration, involving 35 countries such as the European Union, the United States, Russia, China, Japan and others. This united effort pools the world's finest scientific minds and resources, showcasing the power of global cooperation. Secondly, ITER's sheer scale and complexity are staggering. Its toroidal chamber, superconducting magnets and intricate heating and diagnostic systems push the boundaries of engineering and technology. It's a testament to human innovation and determination. Moreover, ITER's construction and operation have already yielded numerous scientific breakthroughs and technological advancements. Researchers continually expand the horizons of plasma physics, materials science and engineering, contributing to a broader scientific knowledge base. The potential impact of ITER cannot be overstated. Its success promises a clean, safe and nearly limitless energy source. This holds tremendous potential for addressing critical global challenges. Fusion's cleanliness, with no greenhouse gas emissions or long-lived radioactive waste, 
aligns with the imperative to combat climate change. Fusion fuel, comprising deuterium from water and tritium from lithium, is practically inexhaustible, unlike finite fossil fuels. Fusion offers energy security, reducing reliance on geopolitically sensitive energy resources and increasing energy independence for nations. Furthermore, fusion could revolutionise space exploration, providing a compact and efficient power source for long-duration missions to distant celestial bodies. This could open up new frontiers in our exploration of the cosmos. In conclusion, ITA is a monumental undertaking that epitomises human achievement, scientific collaboration and the quest for a brighter, more sustainable future. While challenges remain on the road to practical fusion energy, ITA's ongoing work offers hope for a cleaner, more prosperous world. It stands as a symbol of what humankind can achieve when it comes together to harness the power of the stars. As ITA advances on its journey, it beckons us toward a future powered by the very processes that fuel the universe itself.